You're listening to the Fitzy and Whipper podcast. Well, I'll tell you what, the project, we absolutely adore that show. And, and What is going on at the project? Well, there's been some huge announcements. Carrie Bickmore is going to be leaving at the end of the year. Lisa Wilkinson, effective immediately. She said that, that she was done and looking for at other things. And then last night, a huge announcement. Um, another member will be leaving the show. Things coming threes, and uh, I will be leaving the project uh, oh, sooner. Time. Um, thank you. Um, I feel like I need to create some space for some some projects that I want to work on, some new areas that I'm going into. Hopefully, um, uh, next year that I, I need to be present for. Carrie, you said something. You uh, are glad you're leaving the project while she still love it. And I still love this show. I, re- I really do. There's things I want to do. I-, I need to put more effort into my OnlyFans account. And, uh... <laughs> well, one of the great stitch-ups of all time, and he's here to reveal it is actually a joke. He's staying on. <laughs> Pete Hellier, welcome, buddy. Hey. hey! You had me for a while, mate. You had me. Yeah, no, I had you, and I'm looking forward to joining you guys next year, actually. Um... <laughs> They haven't what, told us. Pete, what's, um, what's so bad about Waleed that you're all leaving? <laughs> to be honest, he's, he's, he's white-handed all of us. It's been a long game he's played. Uh, he's finally picked us all off. And, um, uh, no, it's, uh, you know, I mean, I explained pretty much everything you played in that grab. was, was uh, really everything um, uh, that's there to be said, really. But um, Pete, you, you were a little, uh, you're slightly annoyed you didn't jump in first before the, <laughs> uh, the other two to go, well, guys. I, I, I must. I was still weighing things up when Carrie kind of told me about her news, and I was, I was pretty close, but that kind of, I guess, solidified a few things for me. But um, I must say, Lisa caught me by surprise on Sunday. I, I didn't actually know until Sunday. You had no yeah, idea that. about that? Yeah. No, uh, no, literally no idea. So, um, um, you know, she she messaged me on on Sunday and uh, to, uh, to let me know. Um, but yep. um, yeah, it's it's it's, uh, it's been fascinating. Cause I think there's, there's three of us who have come to the, I guess, uh, this uh, the same point, but for three different reasons. I think, to be honest. So, so um, it was never a group chat going, "Hey guys, I just <laughs> want to throw something out there between it's, you know it, you there guys." There was a group chat. I wasn't invited, which oh. wouldn't surprise me. To be right. <laughs> There's a lot of speculation, though, Pete, that, you know, that it's moving in a new direction and stuff like that. You, Carrie and yourself have been a part of that show for so long, and it does get to a moment where, you know, you've got to keep yourself motivated and there's other things that you have in your lives. That That's the sole reason, isn't it? It's not because you were pushed out by 10 or anything like that? No, no, no not, not, not at all. I um, I uh, had been thinking about this for, a bit, to be absolutely honest, a fair portion of the year, and... and and it's funny when you, you know, I did a few calls and, and let a few people know, and you know, when you start talking to people who are close to you, they none of them were surprised. In fact, they had all kind of anticipated it. In fact, one one actually thought that I'd actually confirmed it with him, you know, about about uh, six weeks ago. Yeah, right. Um, uh, so it was kind of it was kind of one of those things. I think I was strip feeding, you know, um, almost the announcement through friends and just seeing how it sounded coming out of my own mouth and mm. what their reactions were and. And uh, it's, it's a brain, you know, and to see Carrie make that call, I think that kind of gave me probably the, um, because it is hard to leave a show that works. I've seen people leave shows that, that are working and um, Francis missed a shot. Um, and, um, <laughs> <laughs> and, and uh, you know, I'm always like, why would you leave a show that's working, you know? And but, uh, it, it's, it's actually been 2014, I think it's been reported as eight years. It's actually nine years, you know, and then a couple of years on filling in for Husey before that. So it's actually mm. been, you know, I've been in the building for over 10 years. Yes, and It's, it's amazing. Just, um, uh, it is crazy. It's funny, actually, talking to you now and watching the World Cup because in 2006, I was, Rover myself, were filling in for American Rosso on Nova and, um, wow. and it brings back all kinds of memories. I remember watching Japan versus uh, the Socceroos yeah. and, and coming straight into a... Uh, uh, to work after that amazing uh, morning job. Well, so, you make, Pete, I, I don't want to... I don't know if I should ask this question because it's, it makes it sound like if we know that Carrie had been thinking about it for a while and you'd discussed it and you knew that she was going to end and then you'd have been playing on your mind but nobody knew Lisa was going to end, it sounds like that had some controversy around it. Uh, no, no, I, I, no, not, not at all. Well, I mean, everyone can read into it or whatever, but I think Lisa just came to a... You know, I mean, Lisa has had, uh, and I've seen it firsthand. She's had a, an incredibly tough year, to be absolutely honest. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. Um, and and I think there are things obviously uh, coming up in in, in uh, you know uh, 
in, in, in the world that um, uh, I think she just felt like yep. she needed to take a break. And I want to talk on behalf of Lisa. She's amazing. Yep. Mm. Uh, I think her family, you know, it's not, it's sometimes, you know, uh, people get put through the ringer publicly, and it's, but it's not just them, it's their family. And, yep. And, yep. And it takes a toll. Making, make, yeah, it does take its toll. And I, I think Lisa's making a really, uh, you know, brave uh, brave choice uh, for her and uh, and her family, and um, but you know it's um, uh, she, you know I mean you could be seeing Lisa Wilkinson, yes, uh, no doubt a lot next more. year. And, it's and one of no those things too, that. and it, and it relates to everybody, I think, Pete too, with you know job decisions and what they've got going on in their life. Where especially after COVID, family and adventure and life becomes the number one priority. So I'm, oh, I'm sure yeah, that sits with you too. Absolutely, it, it is. I mean, I've, I've, I've rethought a lot of the things about my life for post-pandemic, about you know, catching up with friends and, and make, making time for that, and, and you know, and, and the things I want to do with my life, not just professionally but personally. I've already, I've already booked in for the Ashes in London next oh, year. Oh, awesome. awesome. it's, it's, it's not just it's not just ten years on the project. It's before that, it's like ten years on Rove Live. Yeah. We're in the office every day. So, as a comedian, I kind of. You know, and I've been extremely fortunate, but I, I have found myself in jobs where, um, you know, I, I needed to be in meetings. And um, mm. you've been in those meetings with me, mate. And, um, <laughs> Do you know what? Can, mm. I, can I tell everyone out there, Pete, Pete Hellier for me on the project was so good because there were moments. I mean, they, it, it's such an amazing show and it's so different with the categories that they always touch on. And there are moments in those meetings where it can get quite heated. And Pete would always... I remember there were moments where you could be in those meetings for two, three hours. Oh, God. Trying to work out Planning what direction meeting. you would go. And I remember Pete would always stick up for me and go, OK, go. Guys, I think Fitzy's here. We need to move on and get to the next story because, you know, we, we're just going nowhere with this. But that's why the show was so good because you questioned everything, you know, in, in current affairs and, and what was going on. And, and mate, it, it's an, an amazing effort, Pete. Well done. Oh, mate, there's sometimes in those meetings where I'm like, guys, Fitzy's done breakfast radio this morning. He's playing he's the Melbourne. He actually starts breakfast radio in another, an hour, actually. So we really do need to. Um... I was half asleep. How good is that? Uh, no, but Pete, it's not over. I mean, we know that you've got your own television show as well. Um, you're an author as well with Frankie Fish and Herman Crabbe. So you'll be writing more, I would dare say. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's just the stuff that I've got going that will keep rolling on. There's Great. And Crab and and, and, more, and more books. The, the, the podcast, you ain't seen nothing yet. Yeah. And uh, and uh, Family Feud will, will, will keep going. And and um, and then there's you know there's some stuff that's kind of ready to go into development. And then they're, they're kind of new areas for me. So I'd need to kind of that's what I was talking about last. I do need to create space to, for my mind to be locked in. And because there's stuff I haven't done before. And and um, both. Kind of the showbiz and, and the bit of, some business stuff on the side as well. So it's I'm excited of, for you, buddy. Hey, Pete, yeah. I, I, I registered. I'm, I'm, I'm joining Twitter, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I subscribe to your OnlyFans, and let me just say that first video that oh, is a doozy. Oh, you should oh, never oh, kneel down at the back of a I've car. Never seen a broom. Oh, never seen a broom disappear so quickly. Oh. Pete, so well. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was. Did you like the Harry Potter glasses <laughs> I was wearing too? That was a nice little. <laughs> nice touch. Oh, love, we love, love you, buddy. Love you. Pete. Well done, buddy. Love you guys. Thanks, mate. Bye-bye. You're listening to the Fitzy and Whipper podcast.